I'm going to show you, you know, some more about traversing a list. And, and what I've got up right now is an app that basically lets the user walk through a series of pictures. Um, but when, he, when the user gets to the end, it stops. So I've got three pictures, and when it gets to the end, it, it stops. I, I want to make it so the user also has a previous button so they can go backwards. So I'm going to go to my designer, and I've got a next button. And, you know, I'll just add a horizontal arrangement just so it'll look decent at least here. I'll stick my next button in there and then I'll grab one more button which is a previous button and I'm going to rename that um, PREV button okay and I'm going to give it some text of previous so really kind of what I want is the user to be able to either go forward or backwards in this in this slideshow and as you can see when, when I made a change in the designer the testing uh, for the app kind of restarted the whole thing. So now it's showing the first picture, Coit, Coit Tower. So App Inventor's got a nice copy pasting. So I can copy this when next button dot click. So I'm gonna do Command C and Command B. Okay, and copy the whole thing. Now I don't want to reprogram the next button click. I've already got that. I want to do previous button. So I can just change that. Now when the user clicks previous, we want to go backwards. Okay. So before we had this index variable, which was one, then two, then three, and we were incrementing it on the next button. We really want to subtract now with um, when when the previous button is clicked. So I'm going to grab a minus block, okay, and kind of get rid of this plus block. And I just, what I really want to do is I want to set the index to itself minus one, okay. So every time the previous button is clicked, go back one. Change the index from three to two or two to one. Okay. Now the thing we gotta be careful with is we want the index to be greater, not than the length, but greater than one before we do this. Okay, so if the index is two or three, let's go ahead and go backwards and get the previous image. But if the index is down to one or smaller, I mean it won't get any smaller. But if it's down to one, we'll just we'll just stop. Okay. So I think we've got it. So it should go both both ways. So I'm, I've got my phone projecting onto the screen here. I'm going to touch the next button. Should get to the next picture, the Golden Gate Bridge. Good. And I'll click next again to get the Alcatraz. Okay. If I click next again, it should do nothing. Okay. Good. Now if I click previous, we should go back to Golden Gate Bridge, right? We should go back from Alcatraz. Index should be, go from 3 to 2, and we should get the, the bridge picture. Okay, good. I also want to test, make sure I don't go too far. I can go previous one more time. I just click previous. I'm back at Coit Tower. I'll touch previous one more time. Nothing happens. I can click next, and it goes back to the bridge. So good. I can now go forwards and backwards in, in my slideshow.